The Wanderlinger Brewing Company was vandalized last night. Someone spray painted the word perverts on the building along with an obscene image. The owner believes the vandalism is in response to a drag show they held last month. Rally Nagel spoke with the owner who said he has a message for the vandals. Fortunately, the graffiti has been removed from outside the Wanderlingers' business, and the owner says the erased message has only encouraged them to continue to be open and welcoming to everyone in the community. And you know, when you see that kind of stuff happen, it, it shows that not all people are as welcome and uh, inviting and willing to create a safe, safe spot for everybody. Chris Dial, owner of Wanderlinger Brewing Company, was out of town but wanted everyone to know his priority is to provide a safe space for patrons to feel comfortable. Dial allowed members of the Pride community to host a drag show at Wanderlinger several weeks ago, which resulted in a controversial video shared on social media. Dial believes the graffiti is in response to the event. Somebody that is uh, hatred against uh, us and our willingness to be open to the those in the community. The owner says Chattanooga police are investigating, but without a camera catching the criminals, it will be difficult to hold anyone accountable. Dial says if they come back, he'll invite them inside. As long as they're not showing any hatred, if they'd like to come in and have a beer and talk, we're here. Some of the patrons at Wanderlinger told me they heard about the graffiti and came by to support the business. Dial says after the drag show, he received a lot of support from community members, including police officers who told him they have his back. Dial says he still feels safe at work, and it's because he knows there are a lot of good people in Chattanooga. Just goes to show our community is very passionate, vibrant, diverse, and uh, you know, it's part of why we love the community even when this kind of stuff occurs. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Riley Nagel, Local 3 News.